Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I hope you're having a great week so far. So today, we're going to talk about a system variable. And when you turn the system variable off, bad things happen. You CAD managers know exactly what I'm talking about. And I know what I'm talking about because I've spent a lot of time with the Autodesk product support team. And they have customers that run into this situation all the time. And they have to get them out of these bad situations. So I am going to try to help you help yourself so you don't run into this situation. And the system variable is called pick first. So first of all, what does pick first do? Well, guess what? It allows you to pick objects first before you go into editing commands. This is what I'm talking about. Let's say I want to erase these objects right here. I can select them and then I can go into an editing command, erase, move, copy. I'm going to go into erase and it will use the objects that I previously selected in this situation to erase. I was able to pick them first. All right, let's bring those back. We're going to undo those back. What else does pick first allows me to do? There's a variety of commands that work friendly. They're friendly with pick first. For example, if I double click on text, I can easily go in and make edits to the text because text edit is implemented. I could change this to double, for example. I can edit other text as well. It works well with pick first. This command incidentally doesn't work at all if I turn pick first off. Other things happen. Completely other things happen if pick first gets turned off. All right, so let's turn pick first off and see what happens. Let's go, I'm going to turn it off. Now I have my system variable monitor set up so it lets me know if pick first gets turned off because it's such a bad thing. All right, I'm going to say, all right, I know, I know it, I know it. Let me turn that off. Go away, notification. Now, I'm going to try to erase the same group of objects. I'm going to select them first, and then I'm going to go into the erase command, and the erase command completely completely ignores the fact that I selected the objects first. It could care less. It's asking me to select objects again now that I'm in the command. Very annoying, right? All right, so that didn't work. Let me show you what else doesn't work. This is kind of a cool feature in AutoCAD 2017. I'm going to select objects again. We'll do the same thing I did before. And I'm going to hit the delete key. Now, if you have a release previous to 2017 and you have pick first turn off, the delete key won't work at all. It's going to have no idea what you're talking about if you have pick first off. It just won't work at all. 2017, if I click hit delete, it's going to come back and say, hey, <laughs> did you know that you turned pick first off? Would you like me to turn it on for you? So at least 2017 knows that you probably didn't mean to do that and it knows the error of your ways and it agrees to turn it back on for you if you want. So you probably do want to turn it back on. I'm going to say yes. And then it actually, in my situation, allows me to use the delete key to delete the objects on the screen. All right, I hope you followed that. The bottom line here is don't turn pick first off. Save yourself. Don't turn it off. Things don't work if you turn it off. If I tried to text edit these objects over here, if it was off, let's undo that. Let's make sure pick first is off. Turn it back off. I get the mean message. If I come over here and I try to edit this, it doesn't do text edit. If I come over here, it doesn't do text edit. It allows me to move the objects. It won't go into the text edit command. There's a bunch of commands that don't work right when you turn pick first off. Don't do it. Save yourself. Just say no to turning off pick first. All right, thanks for joining me. See you back here in two more weeks.